Welcome back to the channel guys, Darth Sloan here, your partnered content creator for Expansive Worlds. And the purpose of this video guys is to give you all a quick head start day one of Spain whenever you get that, whether that be this Tuesday, October 31st or a week or so later. Whenever you get Spain, first thing you wanna do is you wanna be unlocking your map. Of course you wanna go fishing and all that, but here's why you don't wanna do that. When you go to August Claris, for example, you're gonna spawn in on a mountain a little bit above it, maybe up through here somewhere, and you're gonna walk down to town. And in town here, there's gonna be the shop, the warden, there's gonna be somewhere through here, there's gonna be missions that you can pick up, like this little wall, you'll see them glowing. There's gonna be like 15, 16 missions or something like that. Pick those up, okay? Those are fishing missions. The reason that's important, you don't want to go catching those fish and then it could have counted toward a mission. You want to get that, those green stars reputation up as quick as possible. So one of the things that you also want to do is get XP from exploring your map. But we want to get to fishing quick, right? So you're going to be at this outpost. There's only three outposts. So what you do after you pick up all of your missions, what you want to do, Summon a vehicle. There's a car valet right here in town. Summon a vehicle. Head west. You'll start unlocking some of these trailheads without even getting out of your vehicle. It will just pop up for you. And that's a very nice thing because it makes it easier on you to travel and all that. So you're going to head north from there. Keep going. It'll give you that trailhead. Keep on going. Follow the orange road. Keep on going. You'll unlock that. Not even have to get out of your vehicle. You'll unlock that. Keep on going. Turn left. Keep going around here. You'll unlock that. Trailhead. Keep on, you know, turn right. Go over here. We're making our way. We're going to turn left here. It'll give you that. It'll give you that. And then you'll have to get out and probably walk this. It's a little bit rough here. But walk up here. Get to Castillo de la v Vasta Vista pick up all of those missions. So that's your northernmost outpost right there. Pick up all of those missions. Then fast travel back to Aguas Claris and then start heading south. We wanna get down here. So I would fast travel there, summon my car, head south, come down here, keep heading south all the way down here and then when you get here pick up all of those missions so at that point you have all the missions picked up from town so if you wanted to go do a little fishing at least it would count toward a mission another thing that you want to do guys is locate all of the lookout towers there are 17 we are at the 10th one that i have currently found but they're usually pretty easy to tell where a lookout tower is going to be like here, this road just ended here. So I figured there was one there. And when you go, when you find a lookout tower, make sure to go to the top, as you'll see, we're getting ready to go here. And we're hearing that music. So there's gonna be something up here, like some little collectible or something. Anytime you hear that music, it's probably up here at the top. But you wanna make sure that you always go up and click on the map because, and there's our little collectible there. This is what happens when you click on the map. It adds new locations, new question marks for you to find. It'll show you sometimes where other lookout towers are and things like that. Fast travel locations. These are among the first things that I do. This is the last lookout tower. It's gonna to be all 17 and I'll show my map. And that's just what I recommend you doing first. Explore your map, get your map unlocked, get all the locations. As far as I know, I have all the locations, my whole map unlocked, unless this shows me something else that I need to, need to get. As far as fast travel points, I believe I've got the whole map unlocked at this point. All right, let's look. Did that put anything new? I don't think it did. I think we have the whole map unlocked. All locations unlocked. So let's look. Journal. Profile. Reserve. So there it is. 55 out of 55 points of interest. All places unlocked. And now it's time to fish and hit those 
challenges. This didn't take very long to do, guys. I mean, it's uh, the Jeep as fast as it goes now. Very nice, very nice. Um, and you can pretty much tell where all the lookout towers are. Unlock all the fast travel points. Then I would probably do these missions here. The main missions. Start with Taste of Tomatito. That'll lead to Cream of Cameroon. And then Lucia's Day. That gets you the find the reel and the rod and the lure missions done. And then the King's Path. All that I have videos on. So make sure to check those out. Then at that point, hey, it's time to fish. Hit those fishing challenges up and like we said when you get to those fishing challenges make sure to pick, pick up your normal fishing challenges each day any place that there is a road that ends by water there's usually a little sign i'll fast travel here and show you what i'm talking about there's going to be a little sign by this water probably there has been at every one i've looked at so far and it's a location as you see up there in the top left, Andalusian Barbell Location Challenge 3, that's at another place. We're going to get to that here in a minute. But right here, you can summon a boat. Yeah, I see the sign right now. All these places here that are by the water, that have a little road that leads up, usually by the jetty or the dock, right here there's a little sign. Now, I don't know what this one says. Thin Lip Mullet Challenge Location 1. So, so because it's Challenge Location 1, it's probably going to be a bronze. Let's pick it up. Catch a bronze rank or higher thin lip mullet by the marked location. Okay, so that means you have to catch it there. Here's where things get interesting and here's where strategy comes into play. So I hope that you're paying attention because this is a game changer. This is the best strategy. And you guys are going to thank me so much for this. This is the two for one strategy. The two for baby, the two for, okay? This is gonna save people so much time, all right? Not so much about the bronze, but these other ones. Like I am tracking the Andalusian Barbell Location Challenge. I got it just like I got this one. And I picked it up right here. It's over here, you can see. When you track it, it puts the location. Catch a gold rank or higher Andalusian Barbell. That is a guaranteed goad that's going to be there. Okay, so then I'm going to go here. I'm going to say, okay, the barbell. What do they, even if these are grayed out, like this one right here, it's still going to show you what they bite on. So the Andalusian barbell, bloodworm is its favorite. Okay, since I'm going for a goad, it is going to be guaranteed there for me. Here's the strategy that's a game changer. You're going to want to go in these are the location ones. I know I'm fishing for the Goad Barbel, Andalusian Barbel. But look at the gear challenges. These are the ones that I just told you all to pick up at all three of the outposts. That's where you get these. So we're going to go down here. There's two challenges. There's one and there's two. If it's two, it's gold. If it's one, it's silver. There isn't a bronze challenge for these. So the gear challenge, I want to find the Goad and Illusion Barbel gear challenge. And right here it is. Catch a Goad rank and Illusion Barbel with a line strength of 1.5 kg, 3.31 pounds or less. So here's the strategy, guys, that I hope everybody's paying attention to and going, going to employ. Set you a rod up that has 3.31 pound. See? And I've got a guaranteed gold barbell right over here in this location challenge. So I'm getting two for one out of this. If you don't use the gear, let's say I just go in here with the big 12, 13 pound line and I catch this, then what's gonna happen is I'm not gonna get credit for the gear challenge and I'll have to do it later. But that means I'm going to have to find a gold barbel on my own, which is okay if that's the way you want to do it. But if you want to do it as quick as possible and get that reputation up as quick as possible, do this two for one strategy. Do all the goads. So after you've picked them all up or anytime you pick a gold up, that's what I'm going to do. Anytime that I pick a gold up, I'm going to just go ahead 
But anytime I get a location challenge that is a goad or higher, I immediately go look at the gear challenge that goes with it. And I make sure that I use that size line so that I get a two for one. I'm gonna get 30 reputation points for doing these together like this. And I won't have to worry about going and finding a goad later because sometimes we can get hung up on certain species. All these little bodies of water here like this could actually have, and I've been to them and they've got fishing challenges. So I've just not been to every single body of water yet. But one of the other things guys that you really need to do and I had someone ask me this today in chat, is should they buy the big bait caster out of the souvenir shop or the devil's advocate? 100% if you're getting Spain, buy the devil's advocate. If you're trying to make that decision right now, the devil's advocate is way more, if you're not level 100, and a lot of us are not, if you're not level 100, I'm only 126 because I'm on a developer build. But come Tuesday, I'll be level 70 something. I don't have the 55 pound match rod that you can put spinning reels on. Um, so 38 pound braided is all I'm going to be able to do against these carp. And some of them get up. We don't even know how big they get. I know I caught a 50 pound goad, common carp. So most of these fish on the game or float fishing. Don't even go after lures. So that's what I'm talking about. All the carp, a lot of the new species are straight up float fishing and don't uh, don't go after lures. So what you need, the devil's advocate is your number one piece of gear right now. That's what I will be using the most on Tuesday after I've unlocked my map. But that's what to do guys to recap. Number one, outposts. Number two, pick all those missions up at the outpost. Number three, start getting your lookout towers, 17 of them. Get all your lookout towers, get all your fast travel points, and then start going around to the bodies of water anywhere that a red line like this meets the water, you're probably going to get a boat valet. Um, some of these places like right here, I believe, I've not been to this particular one, but I have gone to like some of these places where you walk on over and somewhere in this vicinity, there's probably gonna be a sign that says catch whatever fish here. So um, travel all, beside all of these boat valets, there's gonna be a fishing challenge. And then like right here, probably gonna be a fishing challenge down here somewhere. This little body here, I have a fishing challenge on it probably. And it also kind of tells you what fish are in that area. I've not been to this little water hoe either, but it's got a little red line going up to it. So it's probably going to have a fishing challenge on it. So do that. Start doing the two for one strategy where you tie your gear challenges with your location challenges. That way you can get those guaranteed goads and knock those out. So I'm sure there's probably going to be some hiccups. Like we got hung up with the green sunfish. That's what I would try to do and try to get those silvers and goads lined up with your gear challenges. Silvers are challenge one. It tells you what line to use. Go to the location, catch it. Same with the goads. And that'll get you, you know, get your map unlocked, get your three outposts, get your lookout towers, get your map unlocked, and then go hitting those challenges is what I plan to do. Fish while I'm getting that reputation up. This is a guide to help you. Uh, quickly get there so guys if you have found it useful please hit that like subscribe notify bell it really helps the channel we've got some other guides coming out other hot spots coming out for spain as we learn the map we'll be releasing those tuesdays we will be streaming over on youtube 8 p.m eastern you guys thank you so much darth underscore sloan you can catch me over on twitch as well and we do most of our streams over there we will catch you in the next video